hands. We thank you for our going in, our going out, and our coming in, O oh Lord. Receive all the glory, King of glory. All of it belongs to you, O oh Lord. You are supremely God. There is none like you. You are faithful. You are awesome. You are kind. You are magnificent, O oh Lord. We thank you. We bow before your throne of glory. We give you praise, Jesus. Somebody bless him. He is waiting for you. Imagine yourself before the throne room of God. You are standing before the King of glory. Lift up your voice. He's literally here. Call on to him and bless his name. Adore him. Love on him. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we bless your holy name, Lord. I thank you for the trip I had to take today, Lord. I thank you, oh Lord, for my family. I thank you, Lord, for providence. It is only by your grace and your glory that I am alive, Jesus. I thank you for everything that you have done for me. Who can compare to you, Lord? King of glory, I exalt you. King of glory, I lift up your name. Somebody lift his holy name somebody bow before him somebody worship him call him all the names he likes to be called uh, because he is God uh, we give you reverence God we give you praise God we give you glory God we thank you Lord we thank you for the difficulties Lord we thank you for the times that it was hard for us Lord we thank you for the times that we felt forsaken Lord we thank you Jesus we honor you Jesus for your word says that in everything we give thanks, Lord. This evening we have come before you. We have come before you to offer you our due. For Bible says we were created for your glory, Lord. We were created for your glory, Lord. Somebody, if you do not worship him, Bible says he will raise up stones and trees to worship him. Worship the name of your God. Glorify his holy name. Bless him, bless him, bless him. Love on him this evening in the mighty name of Jesus. Chronicles 20 says, talks about King Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah at the time. Bible says the people of Ammon and Moab came against Jehoshaphat. And these were the same people when Israel was leaving Egypt. God asked them not to destroy these people. God set them aside and favored them. God asked them not to touch them. But they, they turned around when they had settled in the promised land and came against Judah. And Jehoshaphat was the king of Judah at the time. And Bible says the king was very much afraid when he heard this. He had his army, but he was still afraid. And Bible says the king went before the Lord and lifted up his voice unto God and cried to him. And God said to the king, you do not need to fight in this battle. Stand still and see my salvation. And in the morning, Bible says early in the morning, the king woke up. The entire Judah woke up, went into the wilderness and stood before the Lord. And the king asked the women and the men to bring out instruments of worship to the king of glory and bible says as they began to sing and praise bible says the lord began to set ambushes before the people and they fell in that ambush and jehoshaphat won that battle without fighting as we are about to worship god remember jehoshaphat called into remembrance the covenant of god with egypt i want you to lift up your voice and call it to remembrance the covenant of God with Pastor Daniel, our pastor. The covenant God has on this altar. Lay your problems on this altar today as we lift our voices in worship, Lord. Take it all away like you did for Jehoshaphat. Lord, remember us. Remember our fears. Somebody call on the name of your God. Call on the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Call into remembrance his covenant with your pastor on this very altar that I am standing on. He is a God of remembrance. He will remember you. He says to Jeremiah, when you call on me, I will answer you. I will show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Call on him this day. Call out your fears to him. Call out your limitations to him. Remember everything that has held you back this year. In this conference, you are not living here the same. Remind God of the things that have been difficult for you. Bring it to this altar. Lay it at his feet. As you worship. 
worship, the Lord himself will take care of them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, you have said to us in your word that you are the all-powerful God, that there is no one like you, O Lord. Uh, Father, you said in your word that you superintend the activities of men, O Lord. Uh, Father, you have said that you will take care of us. Uh, you will provide for us. Uh, none shall lack, O Lord. Why am I going through what I'm going, Lord? Today, as we worship, I lay my problems before you, Lord. Your people lay their problems before you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, remember us, O oh Lord. For your name is a tower, Lord. Uh, the righteous run into it and they are saved. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we lay our problems at your feet, O oh Lord. We pray that you will remember us, O oh Lord. You will resolve our problems in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, whatever we have brought before you, O oh Lord, every mountain we have brought before you, your word says it would be made a plain. Uh, us not to sleep at night, O oh Lord. Any fear in our hearts, O oh Lord, as we lay it here, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we will not live here the same. We will not live here with those fears. We will not live here with those mountains in our lives. We will not live here with that limitation, O oh Lord, that difficulty, O oh Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, remember our finances, Lord. Remember our health, Lord. That health issue we are bringing here today, you are the God that delivers, Lord. Father, that you said many are the afflictions of the righteous uh, but bible says the lord delivers him from them all if you deliver one person you will deliver me lord uh, in the name of jesus father i believe i lift up my voice in faith and i believe uh, Father, I thank you for your goodness. I know that you are able, Lord. I know that you will provide, Lord. Father, I bless your name, Lord. I know that you will do it for me, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I lift up your name, oh Lord. I thank you for your word that is coming, Lord. I thank you for your ministration that is coming, Lord. As we lift up our voices, oh Lord, unto you. You are faithful. You are righteous. You are holy, Lord. For we have come unto Mount Zion. The habitation of the Most High God. Father, we thank you for your glory. We thank you that you are able, Lord. We thank you that you are faithful, Lord. No man has ever put their trust in you and have been let down, Lord. You have been faithful to all. If you are faithful to one, you will be faithful to me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mandele kadiande le bosha de eluria katabazi brando lo bosha da ha lebre katosi ande le broti anda ha ella rosha talama yekadondo ho. Somebody lift up your voice and ask the Lord uh, that which you desire lay it before Him. Uh, mention it to the Father. Mention it to the King of Glory. Aluza diande le bosha talama ha misantoli ande le bosi branda ha. For when your worship goes up, uh, His glory will come down. Ella uh, rosha tele your answers will come down he said in his word try me in this test me in this the lord is waiting for you he's just waiting for you to say it lift up your voice and tell him that one thing that you desire of him that thing that you desire with all your heart the lord will remember you in the name of Jesus, Eloria Kado Shatalabaha, Masoti and Elebo Shetelebra Kataha. Jesus, we thank you, O Lord, for we know that even before we ask, Lord, you have provided, Lord, Elo Zipra de Lebo Shataha, Mandele Bro Zipra Talamaye Kadianda. You are faithful, O Lord. You are awesome, O Lord. You will do it for us, Lord Jesus. We know that you will do it. And so we lift up our voice to you, Elibra to Zipra de Lebo Ziandaha. That one thing that my family believes you for, Lord. As my worship goes up to you, Lord. Remember me, O oh Lord. Remember me, O oh Lord. Remember me, O oh Lord. As I offer my sacrifice unto you. Remember me, 
Jesus. For Bible says at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee shall bow on earth and in heaven. As we sing about your glory, Lord. Let every difficulty in my life bow in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every difficulty in the life of your people bow in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the glory of the Most High God come down in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For I know that you are faithful and I know that as we have asked, O oh Lord, you are able to do. You have provided, Lord, in abundance, Lord. We thank you. We honor you. Now receive our praises, O oh Lord. Holy Spirit, come into our midst, Lord. Come into our midst, Lord. Teach us to worship you. Teach us to love you the way you want to be loved. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Shall we give up? Shall we give up some praise to God. So, good evening, everyone. You are welcome to the Pink Conference. Now, this is the Faith Life Church, and we are glad to see you here. We are expectant, we're, we're hoping for a beautiful night, and it would not just be a beautiful night, it would be a beautiful three days starting from today. Now we are about to take off. Are you ready to give up some worship? Yes. Are you ready to give up some praise? Yes. Are you ready to give up some worship? I'm not hearing it. I'm not feeling like you're ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Great. So now we have a lot of special guests amongst us. But before we get to that part, we're going to invite our very own Faith Life Collective to get us started, to warm us up, to, to, to get us ready for our special guests. Please welcome the Faith Life Collective. you king of glory give you all the glory we give you all the adoration king of glory wash open your mouth libo soon talibre le bandale be libo soon talibo do not be replaced by stones le bandale be libo shale be sin talibo speak in the in the language of the spirit libo soon talibo channel yourself libo salebre libo soon talibo bandale be la bandale be libo shale be soon talibe Holy Spirit, we invite you to come and have your way. We are not here to ask of things. We are not here to ask or cry for things. We are here to lift up our hands and say, Lord, you are holy. King of glory, you are holy. Father, you are holy. Mandali Braili Bo Suntali Bo. For your name is holy. Mandali Braili Bo Suntali Bay. Mandili Braili Bo Suntali Bo. You are glorious, our King. You are glorious, our Lord. Lebo Shalebre. Mandali Bo. Open your mouth. Libo Salebo. Mandili Braili Bo Shale. Mandale Bay Libo Suntali Bo Libo. Because your word in Isaiah 12 5 says, We should sing unto you, Lord, for you have been glorious. Libo Salebo. So we are here, standing here. To give you glory because you Lord have been glorious unto us. Libo palebre libo suta libo. If you compare ourselves to others, libo salebo. Mandali be libo shoot. We know that indeed you have been good. Father, you have been good. You have been our strong tower. You have been our battle fighter. You have been our anchor. Libo sula bro. In these hearts, you have been our battle fighter. Libo shalebre suta libo. Mandali be Lord, we worship you. King of glory, take all the glory. Take all the honor, take all the adoration. Libo Salebre Santa Lebo. Mandi Libre Libo Suta. Lord, you are glorious. Lord, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you all the adoration. We give it all unto you, Jesus. We give it all unto you, Father.
taken off. You are warmly welcome to Pink Conference 2022. Please take a seat. I'm glad you're here. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to be here. We have effectively taken off, and this year's theme is virtuous and thriving. This is the Faith Life Church, and this is our annual women's conference, the Pink Conference. We have a flurry of activities to engage you with. This is day one. This is the worship, praise and worship night. And this is only the tip of the iceberg. There's so many more things we have in store for you. Tomorrow, we invite you all to join us right here again at 8 a.m. for a gift and spree in our neighborhood. We're going to give out gifts. We're going to show love to our community and give out some gifts. And whilst we're giving out, we can evangelize to them. And then right after that, we're going to gather here again. All the women and men you're invited to will gather here again and officially start our retreats. There will be a lovely lineup of activities. There will be lots to eat, lots to drink. It will be exciting. You cannot miss it. And after that, on Sunday, you will join us here again for a lovely Sunday to thank God for everything he's done and taking us through this period. Now, just a bit of housekeeping. There's a washroom downstairs to get to it. There's two exits to my left and to my right. And you can just go downstairs and you'll find it to the right-hand side of the building. So if you need to use the washroom, you know where to find it. We have some amazing ministers in our midst tonight. I don't know. I don't know if you came with an expectation. I mean, I know I came with an expectation. The Bible tells us to enter his gates with thanksgiving in our hearts and praise. And we've already taken off and now we're going to take it a notch higher we're going to invite to the stage at this point a lovely damsel young minstrel she she will she will lead you in some praise and worship that will get you knocking at your father's feet are you ready yes. are you sure you're ready yes. okay then i need you to step I, I would like you to get up to your feet and then join me to welcome minister Echan. Let's give her a round of applause, please. Jesus is a reason for our gathering this night. We just want to lift up your hands and appreciate our King of Kings, our glorious God, the one who is seated at the right hand of the Father, filled with glory, filled with power, honor, authority, the one who lifts our head, the one who was, who, who is and is to come, our glorious King. You want to raise your mouth, just lift your voice, give him some praise, worship your name worship his name he is worthy of our praise jesus you have done it all and we appreciate you we give you praise in the name of jesus you are worthy 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 From the bottom of your heart, you want to sing to him. Oh, Father, and that's you. Oh, the womb, how to am I in me? Oh, sorry, You want to sing it again? Jesus. Oh, Oh, 
You want to sing it on with power? Oh, he's worthy of our praise. Who are we that you are mindful of? Who are we that you care about each and every time? God, we say, just to bow down to you. Bow down that there is no God like you, God. Yes, from the east to the west, from the north to the south. You alone take your glory. Yes, God. We bow before, we bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. We give you all the oh God glory. Yeah. We worship. Oh.
worship. Yes, yes, God, come fill us. Fill us, oh Lord, that we'll not live here the same. Fill us, Jesus. Fill us, Holy Spirit. Fill us to we overflow, God. Oh, as we lift our voice and praise. Yes, God, come fill us. Anything that is bothering us, anything, oh God, just fill us with your healing. Fill us with your power. Fill us with your grace. Fill you us with your anointing. Brava fire no more. Fire in your Yeah, and
I don't want to break the flow. I don't want to break the flow. But we have the lady of the house here. Our evergreen lady, Irene. I know, she's wearing a green dress. You know? And so I'm going to invite her on here to just exhort us, you know, give us a few words to encourage us for the next wave of praise and worship. But before she comes on, I just want to remind you, it doesn't end tonight. The pink, sorry, please take your seats. The pink conference doesn't end tonight. Today is just the beginning of an amazing three days filled with activities. And so I want to invite you all to join us again tomorrow morning here. We're going to gift our neighborhood with some little gifts that we were able to procure through the, your own generosity. We want to go and share the love of God abroad in the midst of these trying times. So please join us here tomorrow, 8 a.m. And then right after that, we'll gather here again for a women's retreat. I mean, it will be women talking to women. There will be lots of people here to give us some sound advice there'll be lots to ease there'll be a health screening downstairs there's so many things to look forward to tomorrow and then on sunday we'll have a thanksgiving service right here at 8 a.m so don't forget it will not end tonight tonight is just the beginning it's a glorious beginning and at this point i'm going to invite lady irene <laughs> hallelujah Amen. Amen. Baby last. Baby last, are you here? Yeah. Baby last, are you here? Yeah. Baby last, are you here? Yeah. I know some of us are lost. What is baby last? Next time when we call for women's prayer, do well to an attend. Amen. Amen. So I'll explain baby last. Women, I feel we are God's baby last. We were created last. And you know God pampers us a lot. Even when we are wrong, the punishment goes to the man. <laughs> are we going to take the apple? But when he came, who did he attack? Not the baby last. Amen. God loves women so much. Thank you all for coming out tonight. I know a few of us were a bit worried about what is going on in Tema, so they couldn't make it. But thank you for having faith and making it tonight. Amen. Amen. So this is our second um, edition of Pink Conference. Last year we had, that was the first time we had Pink Conference and it was a wonderful time. And I believe that this year is going to be super wonderful. God has so much in store for us. So why Pink Conference? Why are we gathering women? To go through worship, to go through prayer, to go through um, retreat and all that. God wants, us, God wants to make us better each and every day. I know we have all been through certain things at some point in our lives. And I know some are still going through certain things. Some have gone through already and they have come out of it. Somebody is about to step into something. But through this conference, God is making us better. So we have the theme, virtuous and thriving. Why virtuous and thriving? You know, anytime we talk about virtuous traits, we go to her Proverbs, Proverbs 31. But before we go there, let's look at Thrive. Thrive is a theme as a church for the year 2022. And I believe that it's such a prophet, prophetic word. 2022, from January to this October. Hmm, I know, the hmm, hmm, but we are thriving. Thank God for Pastor Dan. Thank God for Pastor Dan and his prophetic word. You know, so now, anytime people ask me, how are things going? How is life? How is business? I say, I am thriving. The dollar was, what, 10 a few weeks ago. Then sometimes it's like, I tell people, it's like, we don't even have to sleep because the moment we sleep and wake up, <laughs> maybe if we don't sleep, it will stay where it is. But we are thriving. We are thriving. Amen. What does it mean to thrive? Let's go to the dictionary. Thrive. It means to prosper and flourish. Prosper and flourish. Psalm 1 verse 2 to 3. Psalm 1 verse 2 to 3. The NLT version says, But they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. 
They are like trees planted along the river bank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither, and they prosper in all they do. Tonight, my prayer for every woman and every gentleman here is that may you prosper. In this season that people are crying, people are willing, people have lost faith, people have lost trust, people don't have hope anymore. But we will thrive in the name of Jesus because we are like a tree planted by the river bank. So whether the dollar goes to 16 Ghana cities, 20 Ghana cities, whatever it goes to, we are bearing fruit each and every day. If you believe it, shout a big amen. Yeah. It says that their leaves never ever wither their leaves never ever wither i know sometimes some of us wake up and we feel like maybe we should relocate you know <laughs> we should just go somewhere because when we are here we feel abroad is way better i mean systems work and all that but you know god tells us that wherever the soles of your feet shall touch you possess it he didn't make a mistake bringing us here to Ghana. You know, there's a funny video that sometimes circulates on people's status about a baby that was born. And they say that when the baby came out and opened it, like, where am I? They said Ghana. And the baby started crying and crying. You know, but the God made us Ghanaian for a reason, for a purpose. He doesn't make mistakes, but it's up to us to step out there in faith amen. amen so no matter what happens in this nation our leaves will never wither amen. in the name of jesus amen. we will prosper in all that we do yeah. in the name of jesus amen. now let's look at matthew chapter 6 verse 25 to 26 i love this scripture so much so 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 much you know last sunday pastor talked about building courage we were in a series of sermons, but he had to pause to go to courage. It is for a reason. I know each and every one have unconsciously confessed something negative in this season. It is okay, but what do we do? We have to go back and speak positive things. Amen. He said, this is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing now look at the birds they don't plant or harvest or store food in barns for your heavenly father feeds them and aren't you far more baby last aren't you far more yeah. valuable than the birds yeah. you know the last time I shared something in church about how wonderful God is and how God always goes ahead of us to prepare for us. You know, when God created birds, we had, there was no electricity in the world, of course. But now there is electricity. We have electrical wires all over the place. You and I, let's go and touch it and see. You know, last time there's a building down here and I think construction, um, an iron rod fell on one of the cables and come and see Stampage. Even those who are in the office cry, <laughs> they're right now. So how come the bird can stand on the bed, relax and sing and all that and nothing happens to him? How come? Even though God created the bird beginning in the beginning, but God thought ahead. You know, there's something under their feet that when they stand on that wire, they will not get electrocuted. My sisters and my brothers, God has gone ahead. God has gone ahead. He has made some preparations for you. You remember our prayer meeting, what we talked about? God is making the necessary arrangements. This evening, I just want to encourage somebody here. Whatever you are going through, whatever you have been through, whatever you are even about to go through, God has made the necessary arrangement. He will never leave us nor forsake us. In the name of Jesus. So Proverbs 31 is quite a long scripture. I wouldn't want us to go through all that. But I have summarized it here. When we talk about a virtuous woman, it means she is trustworthy. 
She is encouraging. She works diligently. She is strong. She is well prepared. The virtuous woman is brave. She is resourceful. She is wise, well thought of, and fears the Lord. Can you give me the last verse, the verse 30, please? Quickly, I'll take my seat. Charm is deceptive and beauty does not last. But a woman who fears the Lord will be greatly praised. My dear sisters and my dear brothers, do you fear the Lord? If we are virtuous, this particular verse sums it all up. To be able to have all the qualities I mentioned earlier, we have to fear the Lord. And in this season that things look tough, before you can thrive, you have to be virtuous. So it's a virtuous woman who is thriving. That is how come our theme this year was virtuous and thriving. Before I take my seat, I would like to pray for every woman and every gentleman in this place. Shall we please close our eyes? Mighty God and Father, we are so grateful for such a wonderful time in your presence. Lord, we know that you ordained this conference and Father, we are here for a reason. So my dear God, my Father, my Savior and my King, I bring unto you every person that is gathered here this evening. Some way, somehow, my God, make the necessary arrangements. My God, go ahead of us. Make the path straight in the name of Jesus. Father, when worry shows his head up, remind us of your faithfulness. Remind us of your glory. Remind us that we are your righteousness. Remind every woman that we are virtuous and we are thriving in the name of Jesus. That no matter what the world throws at us, we will thrive in the name of Jesus. So like Mary, I pray that we will be brave and serve the Lord diligently. Like Rebecca, I pray that we will be hospitable. We will have strong desire to fulfill God's word. Like Ruth, may we be loyal. Like Hannah, may, our, may we be full of faith in our prayer and in our praise. Like Abigail, Father, may we be wise and compassionate. And like Esther, may we find favor everywhere that we go. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. That was a beautiful prayer. I love that. It's very poetic. I didn't know Lady Irene had poetry running in her veins. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yes, El Mama, that's the name. <laughs> okay, I'm stoked. I see someone here. I see somebody here. I see somebody in our midst. Are we ready to take it to the next level? Are we ready to really get to the next level? Okay, then join me. Please, let's try to our feet. And let's welcome Minister Effie. We're very expectant. We want to praise God tonight. Please come and do that, Your Honor. Amen. Amen. Wow. I'm so humbled. Thank you so much, man of God and woman of God, for the opportunity. I don't take it for granted. So at this very moment, I, I just want you to open up your heart and your mind and let the spirit of the living God take over. Whatever you came here with, just leave it all behind and let your focus be on Jesus. Let your focus be on Jesus. He's the reason we are here tonight. Come on. Now just begin to lift up your voice and speak in the language of the Spirit. Come on. Speak in the language of the Spirit. Come on. Let the heavens hear your voice. Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Oh, Jesus. Have your way. We cannot 
our own soul. Take over, Holy Spirit. I know, Shanana Bahani, Edebo, Shanaba. Take over, Holy Spirit. I adaba, Shanana Bahani, Edebo, Shanana Baba. Do what only you can do. Do what only you can do, Holy Spirit. Do what only you can do. Do what no man can do. Do what only you can do. Ayadabado, Shandadaba, Baba, Ayadaba, Andadaba, Daba, Ayadado, Shandadaba, Andi, Edelo, Shandel.
Don't 
sorts of things but I have been refreshed tonight and I cannot thank God enough for an opportunity like this to just worship and just pour out my heart and all my worries God bless you minister Ebe we worshiped tonight thank you for leading us in worship After worship like this, it's only fair that we also give God something, okay? So dig deep into your pockets, into your socks. Okay, I don't see any socks around, but dig deep into your purses, all the pretty Gucci bags and everything. Deep, 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 deep. And bring out an offering worthy of the God we serve to say thank you for seeing me through the year up until now. Thank you that in spite of all the drama out there, I am still thriving. I am still a virtuous woman. And I would like to invite our Faith Life Collective to give us a song as we give our offering. Do we have the offering bags? And the envelopes, yes. There are some envelopes on your chairs. Just, just put whatever you want to give in there. Say a word over your offering. Pray over it. It's a seed. 
is going out and it will bring you back a tenfold blessing. Faith Life Collective, are we ready? We are ready. Are we ready? We're ready. Let's take it out. Hallelujah.
We bless your name. We bless your name. Wherever you are, raise your hands to heaven. And I will worship you. Lift you high above the earth and the heavens. I will worship you. Lift you high above. I want to hear the keyboard. I want to hear the keyboard. attack against your life holy spirit touch i break that demonic influence from your life i break that demonic influence from your life right now somebody taking a deep breath my god the power of god that thing is falling out it's falling out it's falling out it's falling out in the name of jesus it's falling out now holy spirit Spirit of God, I bless your name. You will not come under any demonic attack. Every arrow shot against you, it boomerangs back to the sender. Every arrow shot against you, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we bind every demonic attack. Lord, visit you. Lord visit you. The Lord visit you. Somebody here, if you are sick, you want us to pray for you, come now. I see two angels, one on my left, one on my right. You, you are believing God for healing, come. Let me pray for you.
Jesus. Yes. 
blessings. I release blessings over your life. Ah! your hands to heaven give me Daniel chapter 7 verse number 12 Daniel 7 raise your hands to heaven Daniel chapter 7 verse number 12 Makadosha um, no. go to verse 13 let me see okay I want King James, please. I'm gonna pray prayer for all of you, and then after that, we'll release. I sense the presence of strong angels in this room. Something will shift for somebody in this place. I am controlling it. I saw in the night vision and behold one like the son of man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days and they brought him near before him look at it he came to the ancient of days, but they brought him you can come into God's presence carrying a certain dimension of presence because anytime you see cloud of heaven it talks of God's presence but he said i i saw and behold one like the son of man so it was not the son of man the son of man jesus on earth always called himself the son of man amen he says one like the son of man so a person like the son of man and in the new testament we are told that we are seated in christ jesus so we are also like the son of man amen he said this one carried a presence and the bible says he came to the ancient of days and they brought him near i speak over your life tonight that may you be brought near to god's manifest presence may you come into the manifest presence of god may you not just come carrying a presence but may you have an encounter with the ancient of day i speak over your life in the name of jesus that which has taken you many years to achieve because you have been brought near to god's presence receive the manifestation of the goodness of god shout and receive it Don't just play anything just follow me i beg you mm. follow me he said and came to the ancient of days and they brought him near before him next verse verse 14. he says and there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom not the kingdom see everybody there is a kingdom means a king and his domain it means a sphere of influence it means a territorial sphere of influence there is a space that you must excel in they gave him three things number one dominion dominion is sovereign authority they gave him the ability to control an environment you can be a musician but you don't control the environment but there are some musicians no matter the nations which they come in when they step into your nation they take over the territory i speak over your life in the name of jesus from this day after this worship experience wherever you go may dominion be given to you may you take over territories i speak territorial grace on your life i said may you take over territories i speak over your family your finances may you take over territories in the name of jesus <laughs> he says they gave to him dominion and glory the word glory means honor the word glory means manifest presence of god 
So glory means favor, it means honor, it means the manifest presence. Look at it. The guy was not just giving dominion. He was not just giving sovereign authority because you can be in authority and yet not receive honor. People can, can see there's a man, I think um, Sri Lanka, the president wanted to leave the nation and when he got there, the attendant would not serve him. The people in the airport will not serve him. He had authority as a president, but he lacked honor. He lacked glory. Are you listening to what I'm saying? It is not enough to be a carrier of God's presence without honor. I speak over your life that from today, you will not just carry God's presence, but honor will be placed upon you. Shout and receive it. I remember the last time that I went to Nigeria, not this one, the last, the, I don't know which of them, but one, there was one time I had to go to Nigeria with one of the men of God in this nation. We all sat in the same airplane. They came up with that, the, with the private jet, picked us. And when we got there, they put the man somewhere. When we went, the, the who's who's were there and I kept quiet and I was sitting in the plane. I was sitting in the plane, I never spoke. This boy doing, he talked that day at the Ogakwata Kwata. The moment we got there, when the governor came in, he mentioned my name. Oh, Pastor Danny, how are you? Then, this man of God, who thought he was, was surprised at ah, The guy, even the governor, knows him. The when, 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 when they put them in the room, the governor took me and took my bishop and we began to walk. And they took us to another place. By the time it was morning, every prophet who went with that big man of God wanted to know who I was. I came to tell you that when you are a carrier of God's presence, it's not enough. You need the glory. I place upon your life tonight the glory of God. Receive honor and glory. Receive authority and honor. Receive authority and favor. The Lord release a grace on your life. The Lord that your amen so shall it be unto you. was a cameraman in a church you're a keyboardist you're a musician you're a drama you people you have honor cameramen they don't respect us i stayed in the church for 10 years not even yet i was old, who didn't want to find them bra but in the 10th year the cameraman not only had dominion but glory was placed on him my pastor called me and said you would come and preach for me on sunday at the time the church had three thousand people gathered when it was 100 they didn't give me much when it was 200 they didn't when it was thousand, they didn't. when it was three thousand and we had we had everything available there was giving on to me honor and there was giving on to me dominion hear me child of god they brought him before the ancient of day because the guy needed certain things for a certain reason look at the scripture it says that it was giving on to him honor dominion and glory and a kingdom there is a place where your name must find expression the song that the the the, the song says sang as said first it was fragrant he's been struggling in abuja it did not work it was when he came to lagos at covenant nation that he was singing and that it was a church program that one caught fire see there is a season where you enter into a certain space and the heavens open over your head. i speak over your life that this year will not end and the heavens will open i think you didn't come to say i said this year will not end the heavens will open anywhere you show up glory will manifest i said wherever you step god will manifest his grace shout and receive it look at it and the kingdom that all people and nations and languages should serve him so they gave him three things that all people they gave him dominion that all people will serve him all nations will serve him all languages will they gave him glory that all people will that all nations will that all languages will he says should serve him they gave it to him that they should do it it means that there is something that causes people to serve you what do we mean serve your interest 
Serve you means what? There is something that you carry that people must push it for you. It is service. He says that. Ah, his dominion is an everlasting dominion. Which shall not pass away. In other words, this authority that is given to him, it is not, it is not a a a a, a Chemushain kind of thing. It is not just a passing glory. It is forever. Lay your hand on yourself. Say, Heavenly Father. This scripture is my scripture. From this day I receive dominion, glory, and the kingdom. Lord, my kingdom shall not be destroyed. Say, whatever you give me, I will thrive. Say, whatever I touch, it thrives. Say, wherever I stand, honor, favor, glory is released upon me. Say, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy. This is my season of dominion. I will thrive I take authority over my destiny and I decree and declare where men fail I succeed where men stumble I see accelerated growth say in the name of Jesus I prophesy my life my light is shining brighter and brighter unto a perfect morning shout and favor has never been a good year for me like this year this year has been one of the best years in every area money influence joy access I've never experienced this year people are whining and complaining is the best year of my life I've tried this year more than any other year yesterday somebody met me at Marriott Hotel and gave me something Somebody says something. Mm. Somebody say, mm. Say this is something. No, listen to me. There is a season where Irene, they give you dominion. There is a season too that God looks at dominion and authority alone is not enough. You're a prophet without money. The devil is a liar. But there is a season where whatever you need. Oh, this season somebody has been telling me something. Pastor, you know the money is available. Anything you need, just mention it. Money is available. And I'm saying, over the man, the simple I'm saying, yes, I hope what that you are entry. Vimon quoting. What am I saying? When you leave this place after this worship experience, let the hand of the Lord come upon you for distinction. Let the hand of the Lord come upon you for distinction. Let the Lord, the hand of the Lord come upon you for distinction. You will be virtuous and you will still thrive. In other words, you will be so successful that you will be also, you also thrive under any condition. And after this pink conference, when people see you, they will know you have contacted Greece. And honor has come upon you. And you will thrive. Let's pray for our songstress. Let me pray for you. Father, I raise my hands over if a grace and a child. We ask that Lord give them dominion. We ask the Lord give them glory. We ask the Lord give them a kingdom. There is a place where their ministry must find expression. There is a place where the heavens must open. The Bible says in the 600th year, the 17th year of the second month of Noah's life, the heavens opened and the fountains of the great deep were open. We ask that this year, as they have stepped into this place, Lord, let the fountains of the great deep be open. And we activate unusual blessing and honor and glory and power and dignity. Let them have an upper hand. Let them excel and prevail. Oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Let the presence of God make room for them. And let people serve them. In Jesus' name. Come on, put your hands together. Let's welcome.
Who is coming? Who is coming? Lady Irene. Amen. May his favor be upon you in a thousand generations in your family and your children and your children and their children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and your children and your children may his presence go before you a.m. We are all gathering here for our gifting spree. God bless you, Faith Life members. We have over 100 gifts ready for the community of Community 3. Amen. I am happy that we are going to be a blessing to somebody. You know, in these difficult times, people need it. And it's good that we as Christians, we step out there to show love and to be a blessing to many. So as many as you can, please come here and then let's do that. After that, we will gather here at 10 o'clock for our retreat session, which is going to be powerful. Amen. We have some facilitators coming around to take us through various discussions. Um, the first one is balancing family, career and ministry. And the second session is on the financially sound woman amen if we want to be virtuous and thrive we need these things okay we have um special lunch in fact the buffet you you come and eat keke eh come and eat keke with our cocktail bar and things and you know the way they shake shake the thing and pour the drink like that mixologist thank you very much english madam we have um a consultant a facial treatment consultant also coming in. she's already brought her things here we have a Rema clinic also coming to do the free medical screening they also brought their things already we're going to have free eye screening and discounted frames and lenses we are also ready for you so it's a whole package you can't afford to miss it tomorrow invite your friends you don't have to be a faith life member to be here so tomorrow i'll be expecting all of you and then on Sunday, which is our Thanksgiving service, we're going to have one service, a joint service at the 8.30 a.m. We also have a female guest preacher coming to us. It's going to be wonderful in this place. So, God willing, I'll see you all tomorrow. Shall you please be on our feet as I invite the MC. I can't top any of that. Okay. But before we go... I want to take an opportunity now to give you in the, in the crowd an opportunity to give your life to Christ. 
we've done a lot of amazing things here, but it all begins with a personal relationship with God. And that is the goal of Faith Life Church. That is why we are Faith Life Church. The goal is to bring you into a personal relationship with God. So if you don't have one, this is a perfect opportunity to start. It doesn't matter how old, how young, there's no right time. This is the right time. If you do not have a personal relationship with God, if you are not sure what will happen if the trumpet sounded pampana and everything just collapsed, if you're not sure where you'll go, if you're not sure where you're going to spend eternity, now is the time. This is your opportunity. Please just lift your hand and we'll say a simple prayer. It's nothing extraordinary it's a very simple prayer and it's a step of faith is there anyone here okay so let's just pray together dear lord jesus i invite you into my heart tonight i acknowledge you as my lord and personal savior i acknowledge that you came and died on the cross for my sins cleanse me of all my sin and bring me into your glory through christ jesus amen and believe that just by that prayer you have also been saved thank you thank you thank you so there's a backdrop in the corner to the right hand side please we put it there for you to take pictures to memorize these moments so please go over there take some pictures by yourself and groups there's a photographer right there so you can go and start taking pictures it will be free you don't have to pay anything and it will be there all throughout the program today tomorrow sunday so please i can see the pink already i mean this is pink conference now isn't it so please go go ahead memorize it take a picture like you can look at it next year and say oh i was at pink conference 2022 there are pictures from 2021 where, where are you in the pictures <laughs> 